and welcome <laughs> to Jump Time. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, ladies, birds, and jelly beans. It's us, Jump Time, Jubbers, jumping away. Right, yeah, we're playing uh, Fibbage. It's great. Flippage. We love it. You love it. I'm not in the room, you idiots. Yeah. Well, hurry go. up then. Okay, there we are. We're in. We're right, let's go. Right, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh I've cancelled it. Oh, no. Stop cancelling. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So I awful. hate you all. Okay. Well, hey, there game. we are. We're playing Fibbage. Well, Same time. I'm Cookie. And I will be your Sherpa up this mountain of BS. Lovely. Right. Good. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we have Alba Biffa, Drusfa, and I have VD. Yeah? Video that? discs. Video discs. Yeah, it's a big, from big BD collection. From Blockbusters. From, from, hmm. From, hmm, yes. Hmm. What an interesting VD collection. We all know the rules. It's me. I get the pick. Mating, San Francisco, Ecuador, Bolt, or John. Ecuador, we know so much about Ecuador. Ecuador, I think it's pronounced. No, it's um, yeah. based, yeah, on, based on... Okay, here we go. In 1967, Wardle. a small town in Ecuador elected an inanimate object mayor. The elected mayor was a blank. Oh, my God. Am I supposed to be able to see something? Because at the moment, all I can see is Fibbage. I know. Just, no, I just no. like the fact that it says Fibbage. Read that up. Well, again, we're not playing on the same computer. Now there we go. Can enter something. Okay. Now I can enter a thing. Elected uh, mayor was a. a mayor. What was he? What was he? What was it? Oh, or she. Um, or she. <laughs> or she. Come on, PC. PC Ecuador. PC uh, Ecuador. Okay, we're about halfway through our uh, allotted time, guys. Sorry, I just cracked all my knuckles right into the microphone. Okay, you got about ten seconds. Okay, yeah, because I can't Five see seconds. the counter. Okay, there we are. Yeah, no, sorry, I'll give you a clue. Okay, the elected mayor was a standing lamp, a, a, a foot powder, a Lego cow. Is that even a thing? A cow made of Lego. Oh, oh like <laughs> someone's built it, not like a pre-made thing. And a statue of a cat. Do they have Do they have Lego cows? I don't think does, they do. Does Lego like the little come, models. Does Lego come pre-made now? Well, you can get like, you know, like Basically, people. yeah. You know, you get people. What a heap of shit. <laughs> Well, Why something I... that's pure? I'm sorry, but its, its entire reason is to be constructed, no, 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 and it I comes mean... constructed. I mean, like you know, the fuck. Like, well done, Alderbiff. You chose statue of a cat. That was me. Freak. I chose a standing lamp, and so Ooh, you did big Drew. Shit. It was me. It was you. Okay, yeah. it, what? it was foot, foot powder. powder. Yeah, was powder. a foot powder? Well, it's not a foot powder. It, it's just no, foot no. powder. No, no, just it was any a foot, foot powder. It was okay. a foot powder. Because Ecuador instantly has more jurisdiction than you do. Oh, fuck. I mean, all, all drats. Sorry, we're a PC channel. No, no we're not. No, no we're, we're not. fucking not. So fuck off. Uh, it's Drusifer's turn. Drusifer is picking a cat e jewelry. Oh, I've been talking about ducks all week, so it's going to be that. Why? Stop ducks. Oh, just, I've been freaking people out of duck facts. Marcella know. Hazan is the culinary guru who pioneered the unusual technique of cooking a duck with a blank. It's where everyone shuts up for a bit. you got to get my thinking cap on. It doesn't quite fit over my massive ego. Your massive ego or eagle? Both. My massive my, my eagle! Ego. <laughs> my eagle's ego. I've got such a big eagle! Drew you about five seconds. Thank you. I've already done it. Well, you haven't pressed enter. Yeah, I have. Okay, now you have. Okay. I have. Okay. Oh, that was me. He's Unusual blaming technique Drew, of me. cooking duck with a firstborn child, Lego oven. <laughs> He's writing these Lego things! Lego. Sorry, it's Lego going a on. A hairdryer <laughs> and a fire. Oh, I actually know the answer. A fire is a great answer, by the way. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's the right answer. Lego okay, oven. A Lego be? oven. I might not put that. It might is genuinely it, be a Lego yeah, oven. No, it is yeah, a hairdryer, though. Happen. It is a hairdryer. Oh, well, there you go. Everyone got it right. nice. Did anyone get that? Is that using a firstborn child like Tinder and setting fire <laughs> to it? Or Mate, just use the body warmth? No, it's like using Matrix your firstborn style. child on Tinder. 
Okay. Yeah. Mm. Pull in I all the babes. You like babes? I like babes. I actually have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I bear in mind I'm an old man. You are like, what? How, like, really old. Oh, I can't even remember. Anymore. Tell you what you two are. Here's the question. In Annoying. 2013 in 2013, <laughs> I, in, in a 2013 poll conducted by public policy polling, 27% of voters thought that blank should be subjected to a special tax for being so annoying. Oh, Christ. The temptation for Lego is just unbelievable. <laughs> Lego's really not annoying, though. Lego's great. Lego. Well, that, that'll seem to get pretty animated about it. How long have I got? Um, 10 seconds. I'll, I'll keep making it up, really. It's beeping in my <laughs> ear, so... I don't know, you've got a billion years. What do you want? <laughs> okay, you've actually got about three seconds. Two, one... No, you <laughs> fell! <laughs> okay, here you go. Find the truth. Uh, 27% of voters <laughs> thought that hipsters should be subjected to special tax. Dentists, reggae, and women. Did you write women out? <laughs> what? No. What are you doing, Al? What? <laughs> no, I just texted. Are you him. recording this naked, you pervert? <laughs> Don't come I in my office. I told you. That is what he's doing, isn't it, Rory? I <laughs> well. I'm doing my special handstand technique. We've got like a separate. We've got a Skype channel on right now that we're just sort of. You didn't answer again. Oh, oh, I was distracted by Al. Was that your tactic? Was to just distract me? Where's Al? Um, a went for reggae. I did. So I just find reggae a little bit annoying sometimes. So I, I didn't put any of those. That's the particularly weird thing. Dentist. It's hand standing around naked. And oh no! I lost the five hundred. You nidia! It was hipsters. Ah. Well, fuck hipsters the world over. There are way more annoying sort of social cliques than hipsters. Way more annoying. Women. No, not women. <laughs> <laughs> there goes our female audience. Poor people. Our audience. <laughs> Bloody women. In all fairness, though. Bloody, Bloody women. Two. Okay, round two. It's a round thousand two. for That's everyone, awful. you fool. Double money. Select a category. Al's, Al, Al the Beth for selecting a category. I can't believe how different your interface is to ours, Roy. Because I was gobsmacked when I saw our oh, last yeah. time. first time. It's so different. A woman in Muncie, Indiana, was hospitalised after trying to remove a callus on her foot with a blank. Uh, hmm. Hospitalised after trying to remove a callus on her foot. She was hospitalised after foot. trying to remove a callus on her foot with a what? Uh, <laughs> what would she be doing it with? Yeah, about 10 seconds. Who hasn't answered yet? In, yeah, uh, me. Uh, okay, cool. I like to answer first. Why am I always answering first? You guys are just fucking dumb. You have about three seconds. Fuck you. All right. With a truth? threshing machine, a pistol, a shotgun, a bold eagle. Hmm. 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 That's what? a tricky one, actually. Okay, They're all very right. believable. Uh, I went with a threshing machine, which was Drew's lie. <laughs> oh, I think that's the first time anyone's picked Drew's answer. Shotgun. Well, no, nah, that can't be true. Was it? It was, was it a, a shotgun. Sh it was a shotgun. I'm gonna right. I'm gonna flip you right. I'm gonna have to use so much knowledge in my head. Why would you use a fucking shotgun? Bitches be tripping. She didn't have a pistol to hand. Yeah, you dick splash. Yeah. Al. What? Always lowering the toe. Splashing everywhere, though. Yeah. Doing uh, naked fibbage. Yeah, that's the only way to fib. Right. Pick a category. Oh! Oh, the man. Sure choice. Well... <sighs> okay, yeah. got it for you, because you just didn't pick anything. <laughs> Stonehenge! Road trip! Hey. While in Alliance, Nebraska... You can visit the Stonehenge replica made out of blank. The Stonehenge replica made out of what? I know the answer, by the way. Oh, I'm Rory, and I know the answer, by the way, because I'm a oh, massive wait a minute. No, tosser. I think there's one in Texas that I might get confused with. Oh, not so big now, are you? Uh, yes. Still a tosser, though. Here are your choices. 
<laughs> Mating caterpillars, <laughs> vehicles, old fridges, and cars. Hmm. I don't just, know. Did Drew write mating caterpillars or old fridges? It's well, gone to a point where I just don't it know. It can't be because I am. Uh, I just selected that as my answer. Well, there you go. Old fridges by Drew. That was Al's answer. It was me. It's so convincing. I know, right? Cars. Nah, mating caterpillars. I would, I would cars. visit. Uh, I would visit a Stonehenge made out of old fridges. No one knows. Yeah. Really, really good, wouldn't it? There. Previously owned. I'm pretty sure you can just walk around can you get a new anywhere in Portsmouth and find that. Yeah, it's pretty much true. In someone's front yard. Yeah, can that'll you do. Get a new fridge that's old though. I think oh, shut you... up, Rory. Who cares? Suck a... No, I mean, like, can you buy like a '50s fridge that's never been used? Yeah. Probably, yeah. There was this weird old electronic shop down the um uh, down the way where I used to live, and they they always had those weird kind of old timey fridges. Al's hometown. Home country, okay, Afghanistan. Thank you very much. In 2002, Bruce Lee sent 12,000 boxes of what to US soldiers in Afghanistan? In your lives now. There we are. So, what did Bruce Willis send 12,000 boxes of to US soldiers 12, in Afghanistan? Twelve. That's like more boxes than I could fit in this office. It's more boxes. It's not as more boxes than you can fit up your ass. Oh, I don't know what that means. Uh, the answers are <laughs> DVDs of Die Hard, Girl Scout cookies, Bold Caps. It says that everyone can look like him. <laughs> <laughs> Moths in heat. <laughs> Bold Caps is amazing. <laughs> What's in heat? Just open that. You're in, you're in the middle of the wall. Oh, they're just... Oh, they're in my mouth. Ah, oh, they're everywhere. Absolutely go in for it. DVDs of Die Hard. Is that what really? we went for? Uh, that is what Al went for. I wrote that. Oh. oh I didn't pick it because I thought it was true. I liked it. Uh, Drew went with bold caps. Bold caps. So everyone can see Bruce Willis. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's Girl Scout cookies though, by the way. Ah. Uh, okay. I've read about this. I forgot what the question was now. Uh, how many? How many? Uh, he said twelve thousand uh, box of Girl Scout cookies to U.S. soldiers. How many Girl Scout cookies does it take to make bold people charitable? Fritzel, carry on. What you okay. heard? Moving I know on. that wasn't the case with Fritzel. Round three. Final fibbage. Fifteen thousand. Fifteen hundred for everyone you fall. Three thousand for finding the truth. Oh my days. We gotta get some points. What South Africans call traffic lights? What do South Africans call traffic lights? What do South Africans call traffic lights? What, like in Afrikaans or just. Just what do South Africans call traffic lights? It's with a C, not a K, so it's not like Afrikaan music. Could you give me a little example Sorry? of Afrikaan music? Yeah, Drew, do a bit of an example of Afrikaan. Uh, I, I don't have any just bad ac a cappella. Just a cappella. No. No, I, I, said I can't. I can't. Oh, this, you're distracting me. This, you're doing you it again. Oh, oh, all go. Terrible people. Okay. No, oh. ah. What South Africans call traffic lights? Robots. Candies. Magic go box. Blinker blinks. <laughs> oh my god, this is all horrible. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm Ricky. I, I reckon I know. This is, this is all so horrific. Bad. Oh my yeah. god. Magic oh. Go Box. <laughs> candies. We all went with candies. <laughs> that was wrong. That was their lie. Oh no. We all lose it's points. It's robots. It was robots. Oh, so have you say Magic Go Box then? That'd be oh, amazing. Okay. No, Al wrote Magic Go Box, <laughs> didn't he? Yeah, I did. Yeah. What do we call it, though? That's just. I call so much better. Bling. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Is that really what you call them, Rory? No! <laughs> it was so They're believable, fair. though. That's a, that's a fib. Oh, look at my blinker blink. Drew won I've most likes. i flinching at clouds. Who won points? Before. Drew, oh, you won overall, Al. Hey! Al's a winner! What do you want to do? Uh, we could do one more quick little one. That, that was so quick. You yeah, that, went, that flew quick. by, right. Quick round two. All or nothing, you need to get a new room code. I'm not up for all or nothing. Okay, PY... I'm up for win. PYDS. PYDS. Pwids. And if you're watching at home, feel free to join us. 
Hang on. Shut up! Don't ruin it. Uh, okay, fun. yeah. What's going on? Because that's how it works. Okay, put type in PYDS as your room code, and Wait. enter your name and play. Oh right, okay. Enter your play and name. Welcome to the game. Fibage. So. Our contestants today are Al the Biffer, it's Drusifer, me. Yeah, it's him. And Drusifer. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, you. Two of me. I've got like another one of me coming out my chest like Master Blaster. You know? <laughs> We've really all had like, one of those. I, I just like Sorry. having somebody else's name because it just confuses was, was, me. Was that no? The Master Blaster was around on someone's back, wasn't he? Uh, I think carried, what, carried uh, uh, yeah. Drew, no idea. pick a category or me. Nobody knows. Who am I thinking of? Uh, you haven't picked a category, have you? I was too busy thinking of films. What are you doing? It's right in front of you! As a young Seriously. student in Buenos Aires, Pope Francis worked as a what? Type in your lies now. Ooh, uh, ooh, Pope Francis in Buenos Aires worked as a... What did he work as? Okay, you've got like a minute, I don't know. Oh, we're all done. <laughs> we're all done. Seriously, okay. No you don't appreciate how much different your art is <laughs> to yours. As a young student in Buenos Aires, Pope Francis worked as a popette, a, popette? a midget wrangler, a bouncer, and a lobby boy. Get your hands off, off my lobby boy. That's okay, me. you've oh got my. about 30 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds. Let's go with 10. I'm just going to tell you 10 seconds. Go. 10. Fine, thanks. Big fan of that film. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. if, you haven't, if you haven't seen that film... Turn this off. We all went with bouncer. Now, nobody now. thought it was a poop. I haven't seen it. Yeah, turn it like go. Just, just drop okay. the mic. Bye, guys. I'm not really gone. That guaranteed me at least second place. This current pope, who's a top lad. Top lad pope. What was he? Top what was he? He was a bouncer, mate. Oh, it was a bouncer. Yeah. Probably. I don't know who. Uh, Drew, you might be in the weed. In the weed. In the weed. In the weed. What? 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 Four twenty. What? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Knowledge is power. Hitchcock is the round. Hitchcock. Hitch on my cock. Film film Guys, who's, who's Alfred dragging Hitchcock? Now? Yeah, you're a bit excited, Rory. Suspense claimed, I'm frightened of blank. Worse than frightened, they revolt me. Alfred Hitchcock said, I'm frightened of blank. Worse than frightened, they revolt me. Entered. <laughs> Hmm. Lobby boys. Lobby boys. Post. <laughs> okay, you have about 10 seconds. Very good films. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, zero. I'll give you so much time. Has <laughs> he actually gone? He's gone to watch the film. He's gone to watch the film. Same director, Alfred Hitchcock. I'm frightened of children. I'm frightened of coat hangers. I'm frightened of eggs, and I'm frightened of cameras. Back, yeah. He's back. It was alright, actually. Yeah, it, it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah it's it was. Tough, isn't it? Yeah, I liked it. What was the question again? What's he scared of? What's Alfred Hitchcock scared of? Hitchcock? He's actually afraid of ha coat hangers. Is he actually? Yes, actually. Yeah. All right. Let's see what everybody picks. Oh, I've pressed it now. So. Ah. Oh, well, Al went with cameras. Which oh no, I didn't. Ah. Oh. Drusifer wrote. Ah oh, no. Which I didn't really, because I was off watching Grand Budapest Hotel. Naturally. Drusifer went with coat hangers. It's their <laughs> lie, mate. You lost 500 points. Yeah. Well, it's it was coat wrote, hangers. Uh, Drusifer went with eggs, which is the truth. Oh, the truth. So, Drew, you really lost points there and for gained for points. <sighs> Double points. Double point magic. Fantastic. Just not blue going blue your blue. way. I'll put off suicide another night. Hey. Oh, -ho! <laughs> oh -ho! Damn, that would have guaranteed me second place. And a possible promotion. Yeah. I'll hold you to that. All right, pick a Al, the, Al the Biffer, pick a category. 5% more milk. 5%! Okay. okay. A study published in the journal Anthrozoo reported that cows produce 5% more milk when they are given blank. Oh, 5%? What would give me 5% more milk uh, when they're given... Uh, oh, I don't know.
Go, lies, go, and go, lies, you have about 10 seconds. He doesn't really. I'm just trying to get him to actually answer this time. Five, four, four. four. actually, yeah, it's three, getting pretty close. Two, oh, he's, he's one. Just started writing. If he writes mouse and it takes him this long, I'll be furious. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> A milk backpack, mini milks, ice cream, and names. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, God. What's so difficult? What was the question? Uh, what do what do, what of these <laughs> items? <laughs> what do cows, cows make? Five percent more milk. A milk backpack, mini milk, ice cream, and names. Fuck's sake! This is fucking ridiculous. This mini is milks. None, it's none of these. This is all it's, a crock of names. shit. It's names. It's names. It's got to be names, right? It's got to be names. We all went with names. Fuck's sake! It's, it's names. Oh, it's that's stupid. stupid. That's, that's stupid. Rubbish. That's a lie. That's rubbish. Someone's given me a name and I've never made me milk. That's weird because I've I've been given a name and I've made twenty five percent more milk. Twenty. All oh, right, you must be getting all of mine. I know, right? And someone else's as well. well Rory's not... using your name, so maybe you're only getting half the benefit of it. I am currently lactating. So are you? Are you actually using my name because I can't actually see what anyone else is called? Yes, I am. Oh, right. Okay. Time to pick a cat no, I mean, no, I'm not. Uh, it's just because I'm the funniest one. Turned... You're trying to copy me. Yeah. Al, Rory's trying to copy me. Just, you know, kick him Pick right category. in the dick. Okay. Oh, fine. Did you miss out on the chance again? No, I picked one. What did you pick? Just the first thing that I could reach. Right. <laughs> what was it? What did you pick? I, what, I actually don't even know what I managed okay. to pick. On November 25th, 2013, a 16-month-old Chinese girl underwent surgery to remove the unusual growth of a what in her ear canal. What's in your ear canal? What's you have about 10 seconds. I'm so furious right now. So furious. So he's furious. actually just pounding the seat and my, not with his fist. My answer reflects that. Okay, right. The unusual growth of a dandelion, a grizzler, a Lego cow, and a smelly. Smelly. Oh, oh, who did that? Just stinking up the. Oh, for fuck's sake, Al. It wasn't me. <laughs> for fuck's it sake, Al. Was. You're such a bunch of fucking bricks. I'm gonna, kick up a, a Lego I'm gonna cow. kick up a fucking stink in your. It oh. might be a Lego cow. You don't know. You weren't there. It could be a smelly. <laughs> could be disgusting. Oh, why did you have to ruin it like that? Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking get down there and I'm gonna. We all went with you. dandelion. I'm gonna kick up a stink in your. The truth. It was a dandelion. Why did you get nice. dandelion growing out of your ear? You oh, really? It wasn't a grizzly or a smelly. <laughs> Or a Lego cow. Could that was so believable. It could have totally been. I was hovering over it for a while. That's why I wrote it. Drew, I can't believe you wrote smelly Why would you do that? What? Uh, that, that's, that's why you picked my name, so you're going to sabotage me. I don't know what you're talking about. There goes your reputation okay, for squeaky clean. Right, we chose Beetlejuice. A sequel to Beetlejuice titled Beetlejuice Goes Blank was never was written but never made. It's everything in like bananas. Beetlejuice goes bananas, definitely. I'm just calling that right now. <laughs> when that pops up, I'll oh, know. On it. Inside information. Okay, you have about 10 seconds. Beetlejuice goes what? Smelly cunt, probably. <laughs> Beetlejuice goes smelly. What the fuck? Why would you write that? Why would you put that? Why would you do that to me? My little eyes, my little... Uh, Beetlejuice goes Hawaiian. Beetlejuice goes bankrupt. <laughs> Beetlejuice goes to France. And Beetlejuice goes Bollywood. Which I really like to see. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty amazing. In fact, any of those films would be quite a rip-roaring aid okay. of humour. Beetlejuice goes to France. Drew picked that. Oh, you fool. And it was Al's lie. Okay. Again. Oh, I thought I picked Hawaii. No, I chose Hawaii. Uh, Al chose Bankrupt. That was Drew's line. Oh, there's some points back. I like Bankrupt. I like that idea. Drew Make went it. with Hawaiian. Yeah. That was the truth. Oh. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice goes Hawaiian. Goes Hawaiian. Just likes pineapple on stuff. And we're done. Well, there was that scene in it, wasn't it? Where he gets them all to dance and things. Well, sing they're singing at the table, the dinner yeah. table, yeah. Which is why I picked Hawaiian. So... Oh, I, I, I wrote Bollywood. I really want to see a Bollywood version. 
Yeah. All right. No, there'll be no accent imitation right now. No. Uh, it's out of the bit. Oh, really? Why not? Please. Shut your mouth. Um. You can talk if you want. Actually. There you go. Okay. Thanks. Alice chosen inventor. I'm an inventor. Eddie Vedder. <laughs> the inventor of the laxative X lax <laughs> had the unusual name Max. Here we go. He had the name Max what? Was it Max Brannan from EastEnders? He's in know. the show, I think. What's that? TV show everyone's going mental about at the moment. I don't understand it. Good, right, here's the answers. Three. He was the name of Max Leak, Max Shit Sphincter, Max Splooge, and Max Kiss. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Drip Sphincter. <laughs> Rich thing is amazing. Okay, <laughs> okay, here's what people chose. Max Leak, chosen by Drew and Al. Oh no. That was Drew's lie. Oh no. Oh, that was your lie. Oh no. Drew oh, no. went with Kiss. That was the truth. Max oh, no. Kiss. Kiss my ex lax I thought the inventor of X Lax would have a oh. regular name. <clears throat> thought Splooge was going to do well there. Means Drew wrote Drip Sphincter. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. And what? Just to let you know, you're in the lead. Drew, you're so fucking oh, disgusting. I know, right? Or you're in the lead. I'm not sure. You're first and second place, so. Oh. Such a bellend. Why did you call yourself? <laughs> okay, final fibbage. This is it. This is for the game. This is for all of it. Is it? Could I still win? No, uh, I don't know. No. <laughs> if I, I win this, I, I actually get Drew's name. The, uh, the name of the dog that won the 2012 World's Ugliest Dom Dog Competition. What's the name of the dog that won the Ugliest Dog Competition? <clears throat> Entered. It's all gonna happen. It's all gonna happen! I've entered my answer. It's all gonna With about happen! Eight seconds. Seven, Ooh. six, Ooh. five, ah. four, Ooh. three, two, ah. one. You yeah, had about two more seconds, okay. but. Ah. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> okay, the answers are Rawrad, Alistair, Hand Banana, and Mugly. Uh, Rorad? Shut your fucking for. mouth! I'm a pretty boy! Uh, I'm a pretty boy! Yeah. Which is weird, because you're actually a girl. Rorad. I'm a pretty boy! Rorad, yeah, Rorad. Yeah. Sounds pretty right. boy. Fuck off! Fuck <laughs> off! Drew chose Rorad! <laughs> Why did you pick yourself? Oh, I have no idea! Hand banana, chosen by Drew and... Oh, it's Drew's lie! Ah, <laughs> in your face, Laura. Ah. I dog. thought Mugly would be far too fucking ridiculous. No, I wanted Hand Banana because that sounded like something Drew would have, and then he might win. Oh, fuck. It's all backfired, hasn't it, Rory? It really has. Your nope. attempt to oh, steal my thunder. Hell. Well, in a weird, in a weird thing, Drusifer and Drusifer tied for first place. Oh, right, okay. Drusifer got the thumbs up cup. Brilliant. Yeah, the most liked. Well, thank you for joining us at a Fibbage. The winner was Drusifer. And Drusifer. Yeah. Wait. Oh. Was that that? Are we done? Well, yeah. Oh, well. Bye. Bye. Fuck off. Bye. Fuck oh, off, so bye. Angry. Bye, say so fucking bye. Bye, say bye, Drew. Um, yes, hi. Richard. Oh, did you just swear out? Oh, I messed everything up. Did you swear? Why do you guys even hang out with me? I'm going to put some clothes on. Did you just swear? Me? Alistair just swore. No. Alistair. Yes! And...